Brady, do you go? Do you go with Erling Haaland? Even though you're an you're a United fan, but do you go with City's Haaland? He should have won it. Um, I think he should have won it. But my question, my 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 point is basically is, I find it really annoying when people say about Messi didn't play in the in the Premier League, so he shouldn't be granted to be. Uh, the best player in the world. When he played in that Champions League final against Vidic and Fernand, who's probably the two best pairings that the League of Premier League has probably seen. Yeah. He tore them to pieces at Wembley. Yeah. Um, but I, I, my point would be is if you put Harry Kane in that team, uh, that Man City team, would he have been up for the Ballon d'Or? Because technically, as a footballer, I think he's actually a better player, um, a better player than Erling Haaland technically. Okay. And I think he'd score as many goals. Okay, who, who who was who was England's last world class player then? Are you saying Kane and still is? No, no, no. I think I, I agree with Simon. I think Paul Gascoigne, without a shadow of a doubt, is for me is the greatest English player of all time that I've ever seen. Okay, Brady, thanks um, for that. Dee's a big Birmingham fan. Dee, you'll be proud of Jude Bellingham uh, last night, one of your own, uh, winning the award for the world's best young player. Very proud, very proud, Jim. Anyway, nice of you, lads. And I wonder you are the biggest, you got the biggest listeners on the radio. But I've got to get straight into it. Very proud of Jude. But I can't believe. Yes, we can all see why Messi has won this title. Everybody can see why. Everybody knows Haaland should have won this title. But my problem I've got is with Ballon d'Or. It's been going on for years. I mean, Messi, when, when Ronaldo was scoring over 50 goals a season for Real Madrid, who were winning nothing, and the Barker was, he was in that great Barker team that was winning everything. And I was just thinking, is this an individual accolade or is it a team? I mean, what is it? It's supposed to be, for, if it's individually, there's no way Haaland should have lost. So I just got a problem with Ballon d'Or. I knew Messi was going to win it because they keep giving it to him. No matter what he does, seven games. And that's it. And I know he's won the World Cup, and we're all glad he's won it. We're all football fans. Yeah. We'd all be glad that he's won it. But by God, I'm telling you straight now, Jim, I just think it was like uh, a bit of a joke, and Ballon d'Or <laughs> is becoming a joke to me. Uh, fair enough. I, I, don't, I don't think you're on your own there, actually, D. to be quite honest. Mind you, if Jude goes on to win it, D, it won't be a joke, will it? Liverpool fan, Justin, you're back with us. Morning, guys. You all right? Hi, good morning, mate. What do you think? Messi? Um, right, that well, you want it. I, I usually, I usually agree, agree with most of what Simon says, but absolute nonsense. Messi should have one hundred percent won it, and I think on top of that, I think Messi should have won it for the last fifteen years because um, on Simon's own logic, just now, what he said, if it's for achieving something, you know, lifetime achievement thing, um, Haaland, um, you said should have had it for scoring the goals. Haaland had a trophy. You got to recognise for scoring those goals. That's what he got recognised for. If you take away, take away all the trophies, take away whatever everybody won, you give everybody a football. Who's the best footballer on the planet? By far, Leo Messi. Leo Messi is a better football player than Haaland. Haaland is he's a goal scorer. Agreed. He's a great. Footballer. Agreed. But do you think that so, uh, besides so the seven, Justin, Justin's right. Justin, over the over the over the uh, the analysis that you just put forward, a lot of I agree with. But over the last. 12 months it was besides the seven games in the World Cup which one of them was a stinker against Saudi Arabia right he's played poorly or done very little for PSG so we're talking about a domestic body of work including an international an no international ar- no, no did argument. you see him in the final yes I did did you see okay. Mbappé in the final yeah did you see Mbappé okay. in the final yeah how outstanding he was come back in Justin on that then on that then Simon then change the name of the award make a um, most achievable award or something like that. But Agreed. We're Ballon on the same Dor, page, mate. Be, which is meant to be the best football player, then I don't care if he, if he doesn't win the trophy all year. He is by far the best football player on the planet. So he should have won it for every year for the last 15 years. While he's still kicking a football, he should win that award because he is the best footballer. I don't care about what he wins or how many goals he scores. I don't care. He yeah, but that, <laughs> that's, a, that's a confirmation bias, though, that is. is. I that's like a, it. I that's like a confirmation it, Justin. bias, Justin. That's yeah. you. You've, sold, you've bought it, sold it, and you're not interested in any other conversation. I like it. Justin, listen, thanks for that. But that is what we're all about. Uh, listener interaction. So many you have your, your own views as to who has been world class, who still is world class. Harry Kane, you say, world class. So many coming in here. There's Neil. Guys, I'm a huge fan of the show. But in the last 20 to 30 years, the Englishman who was truly world class, 100%, Ashley Cole. Truly work in his position. That's hard to argue with. In his as position. As a left back. As yep. a left back. Yep. And of course, Bex is getting the nod. Ollie, yeah, I see it. David Beckham, Jim. Truly world class. Thanks for that. We love that. Jim White.
and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.